Hello everybody, Andy here again. Morning, it's that sort of time. It's quite early, you know. So, I'll, uh, so cut from Berlin actually. I'll maybe explain that one day. <laughs> first things first, I shall put the uh, figures down there for yesterday or for the day before because I announced them a day out. And actually, there was I was saying yesterday about how it, there seemed to be a bit of a lull. Yeah, calm before the storm, uh, doubling in the sort of daily deaths uh, yesterday, 381, which sort of brings it home to you a little bit and uh, back to that sort of sense of reality if you thought that things weren't changing. And there's been a couple of things actually, which is what I talk about today, that sort of brought things home and made you realise just how real this is and how this is going to change things in the future. The first one, I've got a I got an email yesterday afternoon saying that our holiday to uh, Peru, which we had booked for towards the end of June, had been cancelled. Not a great deal of surprise, and it's, it, you know, it's first world problems and all that type of thing. Totally understand that there's far more important things going on in the world at the moment. Uh, but there was that sort of tiny sliver of hope that maybe that uh, holiday or the trip would still take place. But, you know, it's one of those things, places I've always wanted to go to. It's a bucket list destination. And yes, maybe we should be able to uh, defer the trip to another time that is certainly an option but there's still that uncertainty which I shall come to in a minute which is um, there about trying to rebook it when do you rebook it etc etc but the other thing was was um, a, a friend put something on Facebook and they, they were looking through their diary I think with their wife or their partner or something and they suddenly realised that all they were doing was crossing everything out uh, and there was nothing there anymore all those events and all those plans that they had like holidays you know or you're going out for a meal with your mates you're visiting your friends you've got family occasions weddings and all that sort of stuff you know um, they've all gone you know, the, the diary is now empty. I was doing exactly the same thing yesterday, taking the dates out for the holiday, other things that we had planned, other things that were coming on, gigs, festivals, all those type of things that people have got planned. Everything so far has been, you know, every day something new is cancelled. And it's almost as if the, the, the future has been cancelled, <laughs> or the immediate future has been cancelled. And it, it sort of makes you wonder, you know, what, where you're going with this and um, where the, it will come out. And it made and all that sort of talking yesterday, at home here and all those sort of things which sort of as I said brings it home to you and makes you realize that we are in this period of uncertainty I saw someone write a great thing down the other day the only certainty we've got at the moment is actually uncertainty how true is that but it made me think of a, of a story that my late father told me um, during the Second World War, keep talking about these war analogies. Um, during the Second World War, before he went off and did his bit in North Africa and the Middle East, he was uh, living um, at home in the East End of London in Stepney. His father worked in the port uh, of, of London. And on the first day of the Blitz, which was Saturday the 7th of September 1940, a day that all those people in that particular area will never forget, um, he was visiting his um, then wife's uh, mother in very close I think they were in Canning Town or something and, and they'd just been to see them see her and they were coming back and the air raid sirens went for the first day obviously they had no idea what was what was just about to happen and they did what many people did at the time they sheltered in the nearest tube station which I do believe he told me was Canning Town tube station it was about five o'clock on the Saturday evening they were down there all night, as you can possibly imagine. When they emerged the next morning, it was to a different world. It was a new reality sort of thing, and, you know, um, because obviously there was destruction, there was rubble, there was smoke, there were flames, there was fire, um, water everywhere, dazed people, as you can imagine. And the one thing that he really, really stuck in his head um, was all the... Uh, hoses from the firemen they were all sort of snaking along the streets and obviously the closer he got to his home in Stepney which was right as I said very close to the Docklands the worse it got and there was that whole realisation that you know um, is my home going to be there you know are my family still going to be alive that type of thing real real things and we are we're in it's a certain elements of that obviously we've got no bombs falling or bullets whistling around our ears or anything like that. I'm not trying to suggest it's quite as bad as that but there is this uncertainty in the future what is going to be left when we emerge from our bunkers <laughs> out into the daylight sort of you know doing this type of thing what's going to be left you know those diaries are empty what are we going to be putting in them are you know are we going to have a roof over our heads you know are we going to have a job to go to I'm lucky in as much as that I haven't got rent to find I, I, I haven't got to worry about job security but so many other people aren't in that position they they are in a real what's going to happen next type of scenario I mean when this does I was having a conversation with a friend yesterday 
about you know where we're going to be at the end of this um what's going to be left you know you know the rubble that's all going to be around us to use that analogy once again are our bars restaurants cafes cinemas gig venues festivals shops all those type of places are they still going to be there hopefully they will my holiday if i try and rebook that is the airline still going to be there is the travel company still going to be there you know are the hotels and all those type of places still going to be there? is the country still going to be is you know peru's in a state of lockdown at the moment how's that going to change the way that we travel there's a whole a huge amount of uncertainty in in the future and hopefully that we're going to get through all this i know we will get through it obviously as, as people um but we're all going to have those little wobbles and <laughs> which we certainly had over the last day when the reality hits home as to where we are so hopefully and funnily enough today actually sort of brings it home once again in another way is is the first of april april fool's day for those who don't celebrate april fool's day in the sort of the uk and i think throughout parts of europe as well it's the day when people generally pay jokes on each other and the newspapers and the media usually make up all these outlandish stories and put them in the newspapers on the news and that to try and kid people to try and fool people into believing something else I'd like to think that people aren't going to be doing that. Yes, we could all do with a laugh at the moment, most certainly, but there are ways and means of doing these things. There's humour everywhere, I know. Um, but I can't imagine um, the newspaper articles being put out there, partly because no one would actually see the difference between what we've got now and what is in the newspaper. You think, well, that could well be true. Six months ago, if you'd, someone had told me that we would be living the way that we are now, we probably would have locked them up and thrown away the key. So <laughs> some more uncertainty. As I said, the only the only certainty we have at the moment is uncertainty hopefully we're going to come out of this we'll come come out of that bunker out, out of our little homes uh, in a not too distant future but but who knows but hopefully we'll be we'll be better uh, for it in some ways because i'm sure the whole community the social aspect we're going to really enjoy that more than we've ever done before and as i suggested you realize those things that are more important so uh, yes now maybe a bit of a doom mongering thing but you know we're all going to go through these little these little hiccups and uh, hopefully you're not too bad yourself so uh, hopefully i'll speak to you tomorrow so stay strong <laughs> and stay safe hopefully i'll speak to you tomorrow as i say goodbye